Hi everyone, this is James Tube 8439 and I'm using the David text-to-speech voice because it's easier to put in the video than recording James's voice. Anyway, please read the description at this time if you haven't. I really encourage you to do so. Thanks and I hope you enjoy the video. Guys, this is an elevator drop key. Do not ever use drop keys without um, permission or ever use these. I'm first gonna check to make sure it's here. Okay, it is here, so it's on basement. We're not gonna send it up yet. Let's take a look at the other side of the door. We're gonna wait for it to close up and then I'm gonna open up the shaft door. I have now remember never use these without unless you are trained. So key goes in like this. And then I turn it, and then here it is. I don't think I can get it. Yeah, it's not going to let me because of the door, so I won't be able to take a look at the other side for you guys. But we are going to head. We are going to send this up. We're going to send this up to uh, ground, and then. Then then it'll work, right? Yup. It only doesn't because of the clutch or something. It doesn't allow you to open the door for safety. All right. So, as you can hear, it's going up. All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead and open it up. Now, guys, don't ever do this. All right, I heard it cut. It should be open now. No. And twist it the other way. Yeah. All right, guys. That is the elevator shaft. Now, disclaimer: these are very dangerous. Do you have your flashlight on you? No. Okay. You have light on that. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Where's the hydraulic ram? I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see exactly where it is. I don't. I don't know if that that I don't think is it. But there's your 110 power source right there. That will give power. I'm trying to look up onto the car to see where it's at. It might be... Um, oh wow, this is actually interesting. I do not know where it is. There's an emergency stop button over there for safety reasons. There's the shaft lights. And looking up, you guys can see the interlock there and that's the car. It's up on ground right now. But... the Oh, the, oh no, that's not it. I thought it was. So this might be Holus Hydraulic. I'm not sure. Because I don't see a hole in the ground, so it's probably hole of hydraulic. So, all right, we can let it close up now. Close the door, nice. Be careful. Now we're gonna call it down here, and we're gonna head up to the ground, and we're gonna take a look at the car top. Once I get up there, I'm going to turn the flash on on my camera. But anyway, here it is, here at the basement. Remember, the basement floor is restricted, so only call stations will work to get down here. And one thing I will also note to you guys is once the door closes, like it's doing right now, when you're in a restricted floor, it will not open again. Let's head up to the ground. I'm gonna take my UTC key, and remember I'm using these with permission. I'm gonna take my UTC key, I'm gonna send it down. And right, you can exit the car. exit and uh, it'll go down to the basement and then you can open up the all right get ready all right you can open it yep go ahead. so now he's gonna open it up and you're gonna turn it to the the, the other way this time the other way yep go, go ahead all right guys and there is the elevator car top let's take a look what we got here oh I'm gonna turn the flash on if you can open the door just a bit more Okay guys, so this is the elevator car top. As you guys can see, the elevator is here. There's an emergency stop switch here, if you could open it just a bit more. There you have the door right there. The door operator is right there as well. Again, you guys want to be very careful in elevator shafts. They are dangerous places. But there's uh, the guide rails. Um, you have, that looks like to be the, right there on top of that is the control station. 
And yeah, so this, the inspectors would come on top up here to uh, take a look. And there you go. So that's the shaft. You can let it close up nice and slowly. Okay, now we're going to send it up to two. So we're going to send it up to the second floor and we're going to take a look down into the shaft while the elevator goes up. All right, so it's now the door will close up, there it goes, and okay, now might be good to put the key in and do it. Okay, it's at one, and go ahead. And it stopped because the interlock is now, now this guys is the dangerous part. This, it, here I'm going to turn the flash on. Okay, we're back. This is very dangerous. We are looking down. There is the, right there, is the the door lock mechanism right there. Now, as you guys can see, we are, a, a, if someone were to fall down there, they could get seriously injured. This is why this should never be attempted. Oh, there's the hydraulic ram. Oh, it's Holus Hydraulic. Wow. Oh, that is cool. It's and it goes all too. Yep. It didn't look like it could be. Oh, yeah, it is double Holus Hydraulic. Wow. Yeah, we couldn't see it apparently in the basement. We weren't up high enough. Yeah. That's right. Holus Hydraulic is normally a floor up. But wow. Isn't that... Guys, remember, never do this unless you're trained because, I mean, I've never experienced an open elevator this, shaft before. This is scary. It is kind of, actually. <laughs> but anyway, there's your interlock right there, which uh, tells the elevator when the door is closed. Let's get one last look at it, and then we'll close it up. But as you guys can see... Uh, if it'll focus, that little cord right there running up and down the shaft is the 110 power, which what it does is it powers the fan and the the light, but the fan is currently off in the elevator. All right, with that being said, let's close it up and um, I'll press the call button for you guys while the door's open. Now we're going to call it. It's going to level. And went into nudge mode. <laughs> okay, now it's sitting. Okay, now it's open. coming. <laughs> what was that? It's going upstairs, right? No, it's coming down. It already went up there. I heard the motor. How hydraulic elevators, you'll hear a motor for when it goes up and and uh, you'll hear a a draining sound when it goes down. If you listen when we get oh, in. Draining there. the hydraulic motor. Yes, the fluid. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now we'll Take it back down to the basement. We'll take one last look. We'll take a look at the machine room for you guys real quick, if I can find the right key. Uh, where is it? Uh, ah, there it is. UTC. UTC. We'll access the I'm going to turn the flash off real quick. Elevator key UTC goes up. And I can hit the basement. Turn that back on. All right, go ahead and open up the machine room real quick, please. And I'm gonna send it up so you guys are able to hear the motor. So yeah, that uh, drop key is for the building and if they, they use that to get out. And uh, remember, never use drop keys without being supervised or if you're trained, just don't use them if you're not authorized to. I had permission to do this. I was with that facilities manager. And now let's get a look at the pump. Oh. Let's get a look at the pump. This is the pump right here. This pumps the elevator fluid into the ramp, making it go up and draining it to go down. The controller is right here in the front and then the oil is in the back. Cab lights are right here. You got the smoke alarms and you have the power itself. All right, now I'm going to send it up for you guys real quick so you guys can hear the motor. So we'll listen to the motor from the machine room. And here we go.
and now it's up at two. So that little sound you were hearing at the end was it leveling with the floor, so it, it, and that's how it works, so that's good. This apparently must be the emergency power, so that's good. This elevator does have emergency power. I'm going to bring it back down so you guys can hear it draining. And that wasn't draining, now it's here. That's a smoke detector. If that were to go off, the elevator would go into fire service. Elevator is now here at the basement. That was pretty cool, guys. Remember this, never do this, like I've said. Don't do this without permission. I did. Now we're gonna take it up to the second floor so you guys can hear the motor in the elevator and then I'm gonna end the video. And the door closed button works as we know. Here we go. Listen to the motor. Here we have two. All right. All right. Thank you, Leston, dude. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for opening up the shaft. Now we'll let it close up and then we'll stop. <laughs> Let's see this.